Hey guys, welcome back to Big Bone Fishing. On today's episode, we're gonna go through a little DIY rudder system for our electric trolling motor. Guys, this is a very cheap and inexpensive upgrade that I recommend to everybody that has an electric trolling motor. Not only is this gonna help you track better on those windy days on the water, but it's also gonna help you turn a lot quicker and faster on the water. Plus, you could also use any parts you probably have at home for this. All right, guys, let's get going. All right, everyone, so this is all the tools and parts we're gonna need to make our bull nose slash rudder. Got a cutting board, obviously for that's for the rudder, and a measuring tape to measure our cuts. We got some zip ties, that's how we're gonna attach the rudder to our trolling mortar. Got some sandpaper that once we're done our cuts, you know, just to smooth it all out. Got a jigsaw and a drill, and then the drill bit that we're gonna be using to drill the holes to attach the zip ties to the trolling mortar is a 15 by 64th. So as far as the rudder goes, you wanna make sure it's in within this section here, and you wanna make sure that it clears the propellers because that's the last thing you want to do is have the propellers hit the rudder. So within this distance here to here, in the inside there is roughly about four and a half inches. I personally am only going roughly about here, which is 10 inches higher, because if my transdim comes down here, because mine's a, an adjustable one here, I don't want it to go past this length and I'm always fishing in at least over a foot of water. All right guys, let's get going and get some measurements. All right guys, I've gone ahead and done my quick measurements there using some chalk. And you can kind of just see right there, this is kind of where it's gonna line up. Like I said, at the right at the edge of the trolling mortar where the propeller starts, because again, we don't want the propeller to hit the rudder. Goes right above here, which is roughly 10 inches. This is actually nine and three quarters because the, the size of this cutting board. I'm just gonna kind of go down straight, use the handle, go back down again, go from there. Like, you know, you kind of, Make it your own kind of way, make it your own kind of design at the top. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just do want some flow to it. All right, guys, let's get cutting. Just get the zip ties going. Just gonna feed them through the bottom first, like this. And just get these to hold in place, and we can start on the rest. All right, guys, there we have it. See, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna move. It's out of the way of the propeller. So now we got a very cheap and inexpensive way to help us when we're on the water for better tracking and better turning, especially on those windy days or we're out there by yourself and you know you just want to get to that nice spot and using the electric trolling this is really gonna help us with our turns. And then again, just being in standing still position and just pointing the mortar in the right way, and it's just gonna kind of help us stay at that angle that we want and stay true. All right guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next clips.